Welcome back to another episode of Slurp City. Today, we are talking about our washed Ethiopian coffee. Cheers, my man. Yeah. This coffee comes to us via our awesome partners over at Balzac Brothers. Thank you, Ricky. You've been holding down a lot of our coffees this mm. fall. Cheers, Ricky. Yeah. This is a washed process Ethiopian. It is from the Coca washing station in uh, Yergeshev district of Ethiopia. Super famous district for coffee in general. This oh. is really the birthplace of coffee. So this is a super funky one, uh, simply because we got some real fun, unique varietals in this. These are Ethiopian land race varietals. This is literally the where, where the mother plant of what was you know propagated all across the world comes from. And so these varietals are going to be the Kumi, the Diga, and the Wilshow varietals. Um, yeah, probably mispronouncing them. Going to be honest with you, um, but it's great. It's uh, growing at about 1,800 to 1,900 meters above sea level, and again, it's a washed process. I mean, they're going to uh, actually wash all the cherry, all the mucilage off this bean and let it dry on uh, on concrete slabs. Mm. Very interesting. It's tasting really cool as well. Um, like a lot of Ethiopian coffees, it's got a fruity uh, taste and uh, flavor profile to it. Uh, so we're looking at strawberries. Oh, yeah. We're looking at a sweet melon, very balanced acidity, and a very soft, delicate body and mouth feel. Um, it's really great. We are brewing it uh, as our funky drip right now in the shop uh, on our ground control Cyclops machine and uh, we would really encourage you to come in, have a cup of it, enjoy it with us. Uh, it's our washed Ethiopian. Yeah, enjoy. One take wonder? 